the Super Mario Run buzz is real despite the game being delayed on Android, so today Android GameSpot brings you the top 5 Super Mario clones that would probably piss off Nintendo. Starting with number 5 which is Super Vikings, it's a 2D side-scrolling platformer with on-screen controls that are similar to a Game Boy or an old-school Game Boy rather. It has 4 worlds taking you from a jungle to a cave, uh, through the desert, etc. And with the developer claiming that the main character's name is Wario and he's actually the brother of Mario. So I guess, hey Luigi! You snooze, you lose, and uh, be a little less creative. Number 4 is Super Mega Runners, and it's what I believe Super Mario Run will play like. It's an 8-bit retro style endless runner with many characters to choose from. The characters as well as the enemies are all from retro games apparently. As I did recognize Guile from Street Fighter and the Ghost from Pac-Man. This one gets a plus at least for the mashup. Oh, and it's also the best game since Sonic 3. Go figure. Next is Super Mushroom Boy, and no, it's not a new nickname for the drug, but rather our number 3 and perhaps the best copycat out of the 5, and definitely the best looking one as well. You got Mario in an aviator suit, you got the bricks, the fireballs, the mushrooms, and lumps. Yes, the same bugs that are in every Rayman game are here too. Don't ask me how or why. Number 2 is Chavez Adventures, and as you probably guessed, it is the Spanish cousin of Mario. Chavez Adventures has a pretty unique story that stands out from the crowd. The princess has been kidnapped by evil crocs, spiders and dragons and she's held up in a dark castle. The game has good controls and varied worlds that are all based on the original Mario games. It may have some or a lot of deja vu vibes but it's definitely worth playing. And we finally reach our top spot number 1 which is Super Brick World. This one is my personal favorite with 5 different worlds to explore and unlike some of the games in this video, levels here do have background theme music and believe it or not, it adds up a lot to the uh, overall experience. It has responsive controls, fluid animations, a soundtrack that is actually not too bad and the ads aren't as intrusive or and annoying as the rest of them. And we've reached the end of our top 5 Super Mario Run clones on Android. Do you think Super Mario Run will bring in a new wave of innovation into mobile gaming or do you think it will be the end of Nintendo? Let us know in the comments section down below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. We make new videos like this every week.